Hi, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. I'm at my live active blog, as you can see, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And in that blog, there's a post which is entitled, Add a Banner to the Feature Box in WordPress Thesis Theme 1.8. And in that blog post, you're going to find all the code that you're going to need to do this WordPress tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is show you how to add a banner like the one you see right up here. Subscribe to my blog now. If you click on every single page in my blog, you'll see that the banner is up there, whether it's these skins, backup plugin, the home page, whatever. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to my demonstration blog, Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. I'm going to click around, and you can see there's no banner to be found anywhere. So I'm going to go back, click on the home. Now we need to get to the dashboard of this blog. So I'm going to click there, uh, where I've already logged into the dashboard of my blog, Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. Okay, down here we've got Thesis. You're going to go to the Custom File Editor. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a notepad file that has the code that you're going to need to complete this video tutorial. You are going to find the code, as I mentioned earlier, in that blog post in my blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. So we're going to copy this where it says start of adding a feature box banner PHP by Jupiter Jim. I put the PHP up there so you'll remember which file to put it in. I'm going to hit Control C to copy. Click the white to deselect. I'm going to go down here. See where that PHP is right there? That's how you know in the right place. Now when you're done with that, you need to click Edit Selected File or you're going to be working in the wrong file. Now once I do that, you get this little pop-up message here. And it's telling you to make sure that you have an FTP connection to this file on your blog. Uh, that is critical because it's so easy to make a tiny little mistake, one character wrong, and uh, your whole website could go blank. It could be a nightmare for you. So make sure you have an FTP connection. You can learn all about that. Just Google it or go to YouTube and they'll teach you how to use programs like FileZilla, CyberDuck, or transmit if you're in a Mac. Okay, so we're at the correct file, custom functions PHP. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here and uh, I'm just going to click in here and I'm going to press Control V as in Control Victor and that's going to paste the code that I just copied. If you're in a Mac, press Command V. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to click the big ass save button. Now I'm going to go back to that notepad file with the code that you will find in the blog post that also contains this video. Now control C to copy, command C on a Mac. I need to go up here and uh, click on custom.css, that stands for cascading style sheet click on edit selected file so we get back to the right custom file to be working with scroll down a little here scroll down a little there I'm just gonna hit the enter so now right here I'm just gonna press control V because I'm in a Windows command V if you're in a Mac now you'll see here it says height 125 right there that's because my banner is only 120 pixels in height. If you have a bigger banner that's taller from top to bottom or it has a greater height, you might want to adjust the pixels here. You can do that on your own. Now I'm going to click the big ass save button just to save our work. Now I'm going to scroll back down. See where it says paste code from media library here. Okay, let me show you what that means. You've got to go to the media library. Now I have already, I'm going to click here where it says featured. I've already uploaded, as you can see, it's dimensions 960 pixels 
by 120 pixels high. I've already uploaded this image. It's a .png file. Okay. Now you can upload a .gif or a .jpeg. It doesn't matter. So I've, you've got to upload that. I've already done it. Once you do that, once you upload it, you need to go where it says File URL. Click in this area here. You want to highlight that whole area. So I'm just going to press Control A on my keyboard. If you're Mac, Command A. That highlights everything in there. And then Control C to copy. Then I'm going to, or Command C on a Mac, I'm going to click on the gray area to deselect. I'm going to go back to Custom File Editor. We're still in custom.css, so that's fine. I'm going to scroll down here. And where it says Paste Code for the media library there, I'm going to hit Backspace. And then I'm going to press Control-V on my keyboard to paste it, Command-V on a Mac. And that is the URL, the location, for a file called featured.png. And that's the name of the file that gives us that banner across every page of my blog. Don't forget to click the big S save button. Okay, one final step. We've got to go back to where it says thesis, click on design options, scroll all the way down till you get feature box. Click to the right on that plus sign. You do want to use the feature box. Now, if it was a smaller, if it wasn't 960 pixels wide, we could have it located just above the content column. But this is too wide just to fit in the content column with all the text and the blog post. This, we want to go above the content and the sidebar. So I click there. Then it gives me a choice. Do you want it just on the home page or do you want it site wide? We do want it site wide. I'm going to click in the light area here to deselect. Scroll up, click the big S save button, and we're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. Let's go uh, right click on the title of the blog and left click on the drop down menu. And if you click the about, you'll see that every single page in my blog has that banner. I'm going to go back here, click home, and it's not in the home right now. Give it a little time to propagate, and it will show up there. It just takes a little time. That's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Please click the like button below this video and add your comments. That really helps keep me motivated, and hope this helps, and hope you had a great day.